Do you remember which one was your first laptop? I do. It was a Dell XPS 13. It served me for over six years before I retired it. And, and I must admit that I have always been a Dell user. I did get an HP desktop for a while, but it died within two years. And after that, I never looked bad at HP. And, and, and the thing is that there is a, there, there are many reasons why I'm a huge fan of Dell. First of all, it's a trusted brand. I mean, it, it, Dell today, after the EMC merger, is the biggest IT company in the world that sells everything, all the way from mainframe data center to uh, gaming desktops, uh, laptops, and consumer laptops. When you look at a company of that size, it gives you a lot of confidence. I mean, and you need that confidence when you're going to burn more than $3,000 on a machine. And second is that Dell is also known for after sales support. I recall that when I bought my first laptop, the hard drive had some issues after two or three days and Dell sent a technician to my home to replace the drive. I did not have to mail my laptop anywhere. I did not have to go to a store. The technician came to my home. Where else do you get it? And if you look at Dell historically, it's the company that introduced the concept of uh, customizing parts of your system. You can pick and choose the CPU you want. You can pick and choose the amount of RAM you want, the hardware you want. A lot of, there are a lot of options there. And it, this is a very useful feature when you get the option to fine tune machine, especially if you're a gamer or a Linux user like me, you want a fine tuned machine and Dell gives you that. And of course, Dell is known for selling high end machines for Linux users. Dell is the only top brand that sells Linux preloaded systems. So th these are all the reasons why I'm a huge fan of Dell. And no surprises that I own three Dell machines. Uh, one is an all-in-one system, one is an XPS laptop, and one is the Dell 4K monitor. So when the latest XPS 13 came out, um, I showed interest in playing with it, and Dell was kind enough to lend me a loan unit so I can play with it. And I have been playing with this unit for a while. So let's have a quick look at the hardware specs. It's a 13-inch laptop that weighs around 1.2 kilograms. It comes with a quad-core 8th generation Intel Core i7-8550U processor. It has 16 GB of RAM. It's a DDR3 RAM and a 512 GB of PCI Express solid state drive. Of course, you can upgrade to one terabyte. Uh, it has three USB-C 3.1 ports, one headphone jack, and a micro SD slot. In addition to the basic webcam, it also has an infrared camera uh, that is used for face unlocking, a feature which is available only for Windows users and not for Linux users yet. And as usual, it comes with Ubuntu because I got the developer edition laptop that comes with Ubuntu and RHEL. Let's talk about the hardware a bit before we jump into the software side of the device. It's a very well-established design that I kind of come to love. Just the way you know you have Macs have established their design, Dell XPS has established its design and I love it. It's sleek and very portable. You know, you can grab it and just walk. It feels good in your hand. It's it's, it's well balanced like a sword and you see behind me and, and it feels like you're carrying an iPad to be honest with you. It's, it's really nice. Uh, the rubberized back base ensures that it doesn't slide on the table and the palm rest also has some kind of rubberized material that on, not only feels good but also provides a smooth experience as you, you move between the keyboard and the touchpad. It's, it's really a great experience. It has an edge to edge display with very thin, almost non-existing bezel. I ask you to what end? Thread it, run from it, destiny arrives all the same. And now it's here, or should I say, If you're watching movies on it or, or just looking at pictures, all you see is the content, the frame literally disappears. I must admit that uh, Dell makes one of the best monitors out there and, and that's why I have this Dell 4K Dell monitor for video editing. Uh, but, but I mean, monitors are like lemonade, you know, the more sugar you add, the sweeter they are. So good monitors are expensive. The monitor of this laptop is one of the best monitors out there. The colors are already calibrated, so you can use it for photo editing or, or, or video editing without any calibration. I think it's it's, it's on par with, with MacBook Pro monitors. One thing that I care the most uh, as a writer is keyboard. 
and Dell has, I think, one of the best keyboards out there. Uh, the, the treble is ideal uh, and uh, it's not that loud and noisy. Uh, you can work quietly in bed without waking up your partner. Um, and my wife has banned <laughs> laptops in the bedroom, but uh, maybe Dell XPS 13 can change that. I'll try. Uh, talking about noise and decibels, uh, contrary to the keyboard, uh, the speakers of this laptop are decent. I mean, of course, they're not super loud uh, to, to start a pool party. Of course, you have to consider how small those speakers have to be on a 13-inch uh, laptop, but they are amazing for personal use. The sound is very crisp and clear and loud enough so that you can enjoy games, uh, you can enjoy movies, and of course, you can enjoy music on it as well. But for how long can you have all this fun? For how long you can have watch movies and play games and do all this stuff? Um, I have done some testing, not very extensive testing because I was traveling, but I managed to get almost seven hours of battery life of continuous work. And it was average workload, a lot of web browsing. And I think these days web browsing does, you know, demand a lot of resources. And I was uh, using it to, to write my stories with the LibreOffice. So I got almost seven to eight hours. But of course, if you put some heavy load on it, which will you know, push the CPU and the embedded GPU to its, its, its limit, then battery would you know, kind of come down to two to three hours. So if you want to do some film editing on it using KDN Live or any other software, then of course you will have to plug in the power supply. And that is either way required because you will be uh, kind of reducing the life of your battery if you use battery for those kind of workloads. Um, so, so far in general, I like the design of the laptop. Everything is beautiful, but you know, everything has its flaws. Nothing is rosy and perfect. Uh, this laptop has its own flaws too. Uh, one of the biggest <laughs> gripes that I have with this hardware is the position of the webcam. Uh, I record a lot of podcasts and I just cannot use Dell XPS for that purpose because the webcam looks directly inside my nose. And if I try to type something while I'm doing a video conference, it blocks the view. The second gripe I have is the hinges. They are very strong. I think, I think Dell partnered with Marvel and designed this laptop for the Hulk. Because uh, when you, uh, you know, add those strong hinges with the, with, with, with the lid, which has no lip in it, you have to use both hands to open the laptop. Um, there are people who argue that the reason behind it is that since it's a touch screen, so every time you touch the screen, it will tilt the laptop and the strong hinges prevent that. I kind of disagree because I also have Microsoft Surface Book and the hinges are not at all strong and I use touch on that machine all the time and nothing goes wrong there so it does become a bit problematic when you're in an airplane and you're trying to holding a cup of coffee and you're trying to open a laptop you can do that because you need both hands so i hope that maybe dell will work on redesigning the the future xps series laptops and my last gripe why are you putting a micro sd slot in a laptop who uses a micro sd card these days all of my cameras, whether it's Sony A7 or Panasonic GH5, even my uh, sound devices Premix 6, they all have regular SD cards. So that slot is totally useless for me. The only devices that do have a micro SD card are my Nintendo Switch, uh, Gear S4, and my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. But there are interfaces that I can use to connect with those devices using a USB cable. So I think Dell has wasted a spot for another USB-C port on it. If they provided me with one more USB-C port, I would have loved it. Now this port is just going to collect dust. So those are all the gripes I have. Other than that, everything else is great about this laptop. Now, I think it's enough about hardware. Let's talk about software a bit. As you know, Dell XPS comes with Ubuntu 18.4, which is the latest LTS release of Ubuntu. It's a stock Ubuntu with some fine tuning and additional packages by Dell. But don't worry, there is no bloatware, <laughs> there's no adware, and of course, there are no antivirus softwares that Dell is loading on this laptop. 
uh, the, the additional work that Dell is doing is basically some ex additional drivers and extra packages for, for you know, multi-touch support for the screen and the touchpad. Um, <clears throat> when you set up the lap, when you set up the laptop, it offers to create a recovery drive of Ubuntu so that you can restore your system if something goes wrong. It's, it's Linux, it's Ubuntu, so not much can go wrong. But if it does, Dell has you covered. It also helps in reinstalling Ubuntu if you want to try other distributions on it. But if you're as careless as I am and you forgot to create the recovery drive, you can very easily just go to the Dell support site and download Dell's own version of Ubuntu. Uh, for it and you know write a created USB drive and install it on your system. No worries You can also use the stock Ubuntu if you want But then you will miss all the extra work um, that Dell has done in terms of multi test support and some fine-tuning Out of the box. It was great experience. I love it because it's Ubuntu that comes with GNOME 3 So there's nothing to not like about it in terms of software The only glitch that I noticed was a steam client it, it, it was not for some reason It was not scaling properly and everything was so tiny that it was almost unusable I, I mean I tried everything that I could I changed the resolution. I tried to change the form size I tried to change the scaling But nothing worked so I had to try something else. So the good news is that you don't have to, to use Ubuntu on it. It's Dell, you can use whatever distribution you want um, and uh, wiping Ubuntu from it and installing distribution of your choice will not void the warranty. Of course, Dell cannot offer support because they only offer Ubuntu as an official distribution and I think they also offer RHEL, but if you approach Dell, if you have any questions regarding any other distribution, they will try their best to help you out. It's, it's a community-backed, you know, kind of project which Dell is running. So it's, it's incredible. Um, but I did try other distributions, um, two distributions that do real justice to this laptop are Elementary OS and Zorin OS. Uh, they are one of the most polished distributions in the Linux world. And the, the experience that you get when you put any of those two distribution on this machine is incredible. It's, it's so amazing that at least from the look and feel point of view, even it will make an, a, a Mac user envious you know, about this device because it also has touch screen. Uh, but I did not stick to those two distributions because if you all know, I'm a huge fan of rolling release distributions. So, so I tried uh, Arch Linux and uh, OpenSUSE Tumblebean on it. And to my surprise, Everything that I threw at it worked out of the box. I had no issues whatsoever in terms of either installing any other distribution or getting them to work without any major issue. Everything worked out of the box. The only problem that you might face is to get fine-tuned support for the touch screen because you may not be able to pinch to zoom or you know scroll because it works as an input like a mouse. But you can, of course, find the packages, install them, and get it to work. I did not bother because I don't use touch screen because there is not much you can do on a living system. So I did not bother about it. Okay, so we talked about hardware, we talked about software. Now the biggest question is that what are you going to do on this machine? Well, whatever you want. Linux Torvalds, he uses Dell XPS. Uh, my good friend Richard Brown, the open source chair man, he uses XPS. And I use XPS because it's a great machine for, for developers. It's a great machine for, for writers who want great keyboard and a great battery life with a great display. It's a great machine to do uh, basic video editing and full-fledged you know, photo editing if you want. You can use Gideon Live for video editing or you can use Digicam or Doctable for photo editing. Uh, you can also do some 3D modeling with Blender on it if you want. I do a lot of... 3D printing, so I use all the 3D printing software on it, and it it's powerful enough that I have no issue whatsoever when I slice my models. So, in my opinion, it's 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 a it's a it's an all-rounder machine, which is extremely portable. No matter what you want to throw at it, it will handle that workload, and everything comes in a very beautiful and very portable pa package. That is what really matters. And don't forget that it also comes with the with the peace of mind that it's a Dell machine so you all you have a big company where you can get support from and of course you can buy external support hardware support 
so that you can replace parts if you have any problem as i said my previous dell xps it lasted six years it was working fine i had to retire it because we were in an era where websites were becoming more and more heavy uh, and it was the age of high dpi so but other than that as i said initially the hard drive had some issues and which the, they sent a guy to replace it after that i had no issues with those laptops in fact, I dropped that laptop many times because I traveled with the laptop and it still kept working. Eventually, I replaced the hard drive with an SSD to make it even more durable and it served me very well. I still up in the attic as an archival piece. And this is the reason why Dell has become my favorite company and Dell XPS has become my favorite laptop. I mean, you can see I have this pile of laptops and Dell XPS is my favorite. And, and I, all these reasons that I cited, you know, th those are the reasons why I love this laptop. So if you are planning to buy a new laptop, whether you are a Linux user or not, especially if you are a Linux user, then of course, Dell is, you know, I think the best option out, out there. In fact, I'll go as far as saying that it's the only option if you really care about good hardware, if you care about good after sales support, and if you care about out of the box support for Linux. I know this device was given to me on a loan and I have to return it even if I love it. I wish they would let me keep it, but I have to send it back. The good news is that I do own a couple of Dell devices, so I won't miss it uh, when it's gone back. Uh, but you don't have to be like me. You, you can just own it. Just go ahead and order it. Trust me, you won't regret it. That's my promise. Anyway, Thanks for watching and as you know that we have created a Patreon page so that you can support the work that I am doing here. And if you like my content, please consider becoming a Patreon. As you all know, soon I'll be publishing the interview of Linux Toolworks that I recorded at Open Source Summit. So, we'll see you on Patreon and once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.